Today is a day to overcome obstacles. <laughs> Showtime! <laughs> it's no secret that we've all had to overcome a lot of obstacles as we navigate this new COVID-19 normal. We thought today we'd do so physically. How? With an obstacle course. We want you guys to get outside and get creative. And so in order to do that, we're consulting with one of our favorite nine-year-olds in Salisbury, Mr. Hudson Lumpkin. Hudson, how you doing? Hi. So tell us a little bit about why you made an obstacle course. Um, it was one of my, it was Miss, my gym teacher wanted me to, me to make an obstacle course, so I thought maybe I didn't do an obstacle course on them over there. So I made one. And I it was love really, it. and you could exercise a lot. How long did it take you to make this? Since yesterday. Since yesterday. Did you have any help? Yeah, I had help from my mommy and my daddy. Your mommy and your daddy. That was so nice of them to help. Now, how many obstacles do you think you have in there? I have 10 obstacles. 10 obstacles. What is the hardest obstacle? The hardest obstacle is going a sled with a it's going a 10 pound weight. Huh. Now, here's the question, Hudson. Could anybody do this obstacle course? Like, could kids or adults? No, anyone can do it. Anyone. Anyone. Wow. Tell me why you think it's a good idea for people to do obstacle courses right now. Because it's, it's fun and you can exercise a lot with obstacle course. That's awesome. Now, Hudson. I'm going to ask you to do something big. I'm going to ask you to take us through the obstacle course. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Let's see it. First, we have to throw a frisbee and a football into the net. Oh, I like a soccer ball. <laughs> wow. Hard work. Now you have to do free jumping jacks around the Ooh. Ball. You feel good? Uh, Hudson, one question. I'm gonna make an obstacle course for Corey up next. What do you what do you think I should do? Um uh, there's a choice. You could do some things I did too. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right, Hudson, thank you so much, and uh, we'll let you get a get a drink and uh, relax after that tough work you just did. Thank you. 
All right, thank you so much. All right, guys, you heard me say it. I am working on a course that Corey is dying to try up next, so stick around, we're doing that. Welcome back, it is obstacle course day here on Delmarva Life, and I have worked very hard with a lot of help to construct an amazing obstacle course for Corey to test. I know he's strong, but I'm really gonna try to stump him with this. All right, first move. Take this trike. All of these cones. So we're gonna be weaving in and out of those. Next. He's gotta spin on this five times. So by then, you might feel a little bit dizzy. All right, balance beam. Action. Hopefully he makes it across that. I can't not include soccer. I'm a soccer player. So he's gotta take these cones on. Once he gets to the end, bring those all the way to the end. He's gonna put these boxing gloves on. And then he's got three tries. He's still gonna have that soccer ball to get. He's as amazing as I am, just kidding. Okay, next move. He's got a, he's got a couple balls here. He's got to chip this into the, uh, into the area. Whoops. Hopefully he'll be better at this than me. And here's the deal. If he doesn't make any of these or if he doesn't make any of the baskets, minus five seconds for his time. Then he's gonna hurdle these. I'm not gonna try that, because that's gonna be a little bit tough. Big finale, stability ball, under the table. We're all through there, and cross the finish line. All right, we're timing him. Let's see, go Corey, go. Corey, are you ready? Are you set? Go! Okay, look at that, look at those tricycle skills he handled that with And a one, and a two, and a three. Four, five, balance beam time. Oh, he oh he just nailed that balance beam. That is great. Soccer skills. Ooh, oh, ooh, well, we made it through there. All right, get those boxing gloves on. Do they fit? These are these are baby gloves. Uh, whoops. Uh, I, I thought they were. I thought your hands were smaller. <laughs> All right, looks good. Let's see. Oh, way off. All right, so a couple points deducted there for the lack of accuracy. This is a right-handed club. I thought you were right-handed. I'm a lefty. Oh, no. Not good. He did it. He did it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a miraculous feat for the big finish. Time, 56 seconds. Minus the five. Minus the five. Ugh. You lost five there. Corey, 56 seconds, plus five second penalty, 101. How do you feel? My lungs are burning. Oh? Yeah, other than that, feel great. Other than that, you feel, feel revitalized and rejuvenated. Wow. Was there ever a moment when you thought, I can't do this, this is too tough? Every step of the way since the dizzy bat. Since the, <laughs> I thought that was a good addition. <laughs> that was a good touch. Yeah, what was your favorite obstacle? Favorite obstacle has to be when I'm allowed to leap into a ball and climb under the table with I, it. I thought that to was. shoot out the other side. That was quite nice. 